So, you're ready to attend ICAR's welding training and certification, steel sectioning, SBSO5. Congratulations! This is one training event you'll never forget. This video will help better prepare you for what to expect on training day. It's a long day, intense and challenging, but it's rewarding. During the training day, technicians will section this rail using a body repair manual designed just for this course. You will need to measure, cut, and weld. We also make sure your rail properly fits on the fixture. The training administrator will be there to coach you. You can also talk to your peers, but only you can perform the procedure. This rail is representative of common structural repairs seen in a shop today. It's similar to a lower frame rail and a thin outer body panel. Just like in the shop setting, there's a lot that goes into the repair before you start. First, make sure you're protected. Protect your eyes, your hands, your body, and your feet. Bring your own welding helmet, and we recommend a respirator too, along with all of your other personal protection equipment. And you'll need the right tools for the job. Think about the tools you normally use during a sectioning procedure. If you're not sure about a tool, bring it to be safe. And don't forget to reference the tool list provided on the iCar website. There may be some recommendations on there that surprise you. Can't find your sheet? Give us a call. And just like with a vehicle, you won't be able to turn the rail. It'll be clamped into position. Take that into consideration as well. Before starting the procedure, you'll need to tune the welder and practice four different wells on coupons provided. The coupons are the same gauges as the rail. The training administrator will destructively test your welds before giving you a rail. Let's take a look at the weld joints. You'll need to perform three sectioning joints, one on 22 gauge steel and two on 16 gauge steel. The first joint is an access window with an open butt joint. Be careful not to damage the reinforcement. Make sure you have the right cutting tool for the job. Joints two and three are typical of joints used on frame rails. You'll perform a few welds here, one weld from the inside only. You'll need to make sure your measurements are accurate before you section. You'll cut the replacement parts from the supplied service parts. When you've completed the rail, it will be visually inspected and measured against the body repair manual specifications. The administrator will then grade your rail on site. That's steel sectioning. It'll be challenging, it'll be long, but it'll be worth it and we guarantee you'll be proud at the end of the day. If you have any questions before the training day, contact your administrator or ICAR customer care at 1-800-422-7872.